solving equations um, in this video I just want to do an oversight of all the tip, um, all the types of equations that you get and how to approach them when you solve them um, because you do different things um, to solve the equation whether you are working with a linear a quadratic exponential depending on what type of equation you have you follow a certain procedure so it's a good idea to know um, what approach I'm going to use um, if I can just identify what type of equation I'm solving and then I also want to just quickly discuss solving inequalities which is pretty much the same as equations just instead of a equal sign they have a, a smaller than bigger than or smaller equal bigger equal sign instead of the um, equal sign so it's an equation but not with an equal sign but with an inequality then I call that an inequality if you don't know the difference between linear quadratic exponential and so on um, there is a video in the basic concepts and revision about types of equations and expressions just go through that video first um, to make sure you just know what types of equations and um, expressions you get it's literally like a six minute video that you can go to just go through to just make sure you know the difference of, between these words right now for a linear equation the basic concept that I want to follow is I want to get all of the x's on one side of the equal sign and I want to get all of the numbers on the other side of the equal sign and then from there on I will simplify um, for example if I have 2x plus 3 is equal to 3x minus 1 that I need to solve and this is a linear equation then I, f I want to get all of the x terms on one side but since the x and the, there's an x and a number combined here in a bracket I'm first going to make them separate terms by using products then I have 2x plus 6 so I just multiply out is equal to 3x minus 3 and then I get all of the x's on one side of the equal sign so you know when you take them over it changes signs and I get all of the numbers on the other side of the equal sign like that and then from there on I simplify so that I have minus x minus 9 is x equal to 9 so this is basically how um, how linear equations would work is so I gather the x's and I gather the numbers for quadratic equations I want to get everything on one side and zero on the other side all right, so when I see I work with a quadratic equation, I move everything to one side of the equal sign and I just have zero on the other side. And then this everything I'm going to factorize um, by using the various factorizing techniques that we have discussed now just before this. Um, so then I factorize and after I factorized, I've got a product either of a number times a bracket or two brackets multiplied with one another but I've got a product that's equal to zero and when I end up with a product equal to zero what I do is um, I use the zero factor law um, and the zero factor law states let me just write this here the zero factor law um, the zero factor law states that if I have two things in mathematics multiplied with one another say for instance a times b multiplied with one another that gives me zero then one of these things must be zero so if I have two things multiplied um, what can you tell me about a and b um, most of you will intuitively guess that well a or b must be zero because if I multiply them I get zero and exactly that is the zero factor law so this bracket times this bracket gives me zero then one of these brackets must be zero and from that I can go and find the solution of x but for quadratic I take everything to one side zero on the other side this everything I factorize 
and then I use the zero factor law. Um, for exponential equations, um, the basic idea is I get 3 to the power of something. I try to write my, my expression where the, the exponential equation, the x is in the exponent, but I try to write this as um, same basis, say for instance 3 to the power of something with x's and then 3 to the power of something with numbers. Even if you have like 2x plus 1 there, it's fine, but you try to write both sides of your equal sign as a same base number, exponent, one power um, term, and then from there on you can um, put these two exponents equal and usually will, you will then have a linear equation that you from there can just solve or um, have a quadratic equation that you can solve but usually it's linear that you solve. Um, so that's the basic idea I use with exponential equations. With hyperbolic equations um, I have fractions where my x lies in the fraction um, so say for instance I have 3 over x plus 2 is equal to 3 but the basic idea doesn't matter what my equation is the basic idea is I'm going to multiply right through the equation with the um, denominator of whatever is the denominator of the fraction if you have more than one fraction you multiply throughout um, by x or if you have over x and over x plus 1 you multiply throughout with x times x plus 1 um, depending on what in your denominator what is in your denominator and you multiply throughout with that and then evaluate whether you now have a linear or a quadratic function and treat that as such with these methods so that's for hyperbolic um, and simultaneous equations is where I have two types, um, I have two equations, say for instance y is equal to x plus 6 and y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5. I have two equations and I want to use them both at the same time, that's where simultaneous comes from. I want to use them both at the same time to find a value for x. <coughs> And also for y, that if I if I put this x y pair in this equation, um, it solves the equation. But if I put the same x y pair in this equation, it also solves this equation. So that's the idea of simultaneous equations. There's two basic methods of solving simultaneous equations, which one is substitution and one is elimination. Um, now I prefer the method of substitution. Um, which I will discuss at length in a separate video just looking at simultaneous equations um, and I will actually do videos about every one of these so you can go and watch the videos um, of all the separate equations if you know um, I'm fine with solving linear equations you don't need to go and watch that video um, but then you can go and watch all of the separate videos how to solve a quadratic, how to solve an exponential, how to solve each of these equations um, separately from here on. Right, um, and then with inequalities what happens is I can get linear inequalities, quadratic inequalities, you can get these inequalities also but I doubt on school level if they really ask you something like this. You will usually get a linear or a quadratic inequality. Um, you might maybe get an exponential or hyperbolic in inequality, but um, doubtful. And that will be like a higher grade question um, that you have to solve with a bit of logical thinking. Um, so I am going to look also in the linear equations video I will look at linear equations and inequalities what happens there and in the quadratic equations video I will look at quadratic equations and inequalities what happens there um, and you will see the procedure stays pretty much the same for linear inequalities I'm still going to get the x's to one side of the equal sign and the numbers to the other side of the equal sign and treat it exactly the same the only thing I have to remember with inequalities is if I multiply or divide 
with a negative number so for instance I multiply throughout with negative 1 or I divide throughout with negative 2 if I multiply or divide with a negative number I just swap the inequality around so if I have a bigger than sign then that becomes a smaller than the moment I if I take this equation here and I'm inequality here and I multiply throughout from here with negative 1 then this one um, I have my answers of multiplied with negative one but instead of the bigger than it now has a smaller than and that's the only thing that really changes with linear inequalities with quadratic inequalities I'm still going to take everything to the one side zero on the other I'm still going to factorize this everything that I have but the zero factor law changes a little bit um, there's a few things I need to consider but I'll discuss that in this video um, and I think that's a bit lengthy. I will do the quadratic equations and the quadratic inequalities in two separate videos. Um, but they will be just next to one another so you can go through them. Um, but there's a little bit extra thing that happens at the bottom there. But the procedure up until the end line of this stays the same apart from if you multiply or divide with a negative your smaller than becomes bigger than and bigger than becomes smaller than all right um, so this is all of the types of equations with the approaches of how you're going to solve them and now I'm going to, to look at them separately